Hi everyone, welcome to Sisters for Financial Independence. My name is Catherine Agub John, and here at Sisters for Fi, we help you manage your money better so you can live a life of impact today and tomorrow. A big part of financial independence is having a career that grows with you and a career that also has a bright outlook for the future. In this video, I am going to share with you three tools to help you figure out the career path you're looking for, whether you're a student in school trying to figure out what you want to study or someone who is looking to change careers um, in the next few years. These tools are free and they're publicly available. And the good thing about these tools is that they're constantly updated. So as you progress and the years come through, check Check it often to figure out the kind of career path you want and that uh, make sure that it also grows with you and the salary grows with it. The first tool I'm sharing with you is called ONET Online. And it is basically a database um, that's been compiled that includes occupations across multiple job industries. And this is a good tool to search through the branches of careers and job paths that you're looking for. It is a tool that was made in sponsorship with the U.S. Department of Labor. And it, this is a tool that's good for job seekers, um, HR professionals, or people just looking to figure out what their next move should be. Now, there is, you will head to onetonline.org, and there are a few options for you to do and how to use this tool. First is you can search specifically for a career in an industry that you want, um, but also search for what they term bright outlook. So these are careers, industries that would grow, well, that will grow in the next few years and have better job opportunities. There's also a way to search if you have a specific skill for a software, this might be a good option if you wanna pursue that and wanna expand on your skills. And if you're also a veteran and you want to, you're going back to civilian life, trying to figure out what type of skills you already have and translate that to a job in civilian life. What we'll do for this particular example is I'm going to show you some careers and job titles that have a bright outlook. So under fine occupations, um, there's some pre-existing categories that they have. Um, there's one for STEM, maybe it's an industry that you're looking for, but I am going to select Bright Outlook and we are going to look at some of the occupations that will grow in the next few years. So I'm choosing rapid growth, click on go, and there's a huge list of them. So these are occupations that are set to grow on um, 5% or more within the next 10 years. So there's a lot of options and potential here especially very lucrative for those that might want to get into a higher salary range. And what I will select, so there's tons, tons for you to look into from computers to custom brokers, um, technologists, economic, economists. What I will do for this particular example is look into athletic trainers. What does, what does an athletic trainer do? They evaluate and treat injuries or illnesses and provide care. And here are some of the job titles that you might be looking into if you're looking for a job. It could be just athletic trainer or it might be instructor. It might be sports medicine coordinator. So something to keep in mind as you are searching and submitting your resumes to places. Um, some of these will never ma match one-to-one. -one. Um, some companies kind of have different titles for similar jobs. So good to know some what some of these are so you will have a heads up on, on how to look for some of these positions, positions that you have the skills for. For this particular occupation, you'll see some of the tasks that you'll be asked for. Um, is this something that you wanna do? Provide, make sure the athletes are ready to play, um, care for injuries, conduct assessments. Um, these are some of the technology skills that might be good for you to already have under your belt or to study so that you're prepared to get to the workforce, some knowledge, some skills, and to the bottom of this um, are some things that, that are good to know, right? So most of this, for this particular 
occupation. Um, it requires some graduate school, um, some may require masters, and even a, a PhD and MD or, or law degree. Uh, it depends on which air branch you want to study. And also, if you go to the bottom, some of the education requirements. Um, so it's important to keep in mind as you pursue uh, the type of occupation and career path that you want, that the education might change as you kind of change directions. Uh, these, the bottom two are some of the things that you might, that um, will require a view of the job. So it's important to keep this in mind. And then uh, closer to the bottom of this page, there's a section called wages and employment training trends. And it basically gives you a projection of the wages in the next uh, a few years. So this particular info is for 2019 and the median wage, um, the average is 48,000 a year for an athletic trainer. Now, if you're in a particular state, you might wanna drill down further. I live in New Jersey, so we'll go through New Jersey and kind of look to see what the, um, the average salary for this is. So New Jersey, between 21 to 95, depending on what your um depending on the role perhaps the experience in the years you've had in it so this is kind of good to know so that you understand um, your earning potential as well as the roi so if you are going to go to school and take on some debt it might be good to know that the salary for this is xyz um, and if you have to figure out if that's worth it for you um, you can also read more about what this what this particular job does when some of the um, specific industries and um, other sources that you can re research and learn from to the bottom. So they have links towards the Red Cross, um, American College of Sports Medicine, um, just so that you have more information as to what, what does this job entail and the occupation entail. The next option for you to go into is that what if you don't know what you want to study yet and or you're just not sure yet. So there's another area here called career cluster. And what that allows you to do is look at some other occupations in a specific field. So they do have a list of the categories here. And for this particular example, let's go through marketing. Now marketing is a very broad term for a lot of things. Um, and because it's so broad, it's hard to kind of figure out perhaps a specific job title or area that you might want to look into. So we'll choose a career cluster called marketing and let's see what options we, we have. So here they list out all of the career pathways for something that's in marketing. So you have something in marketing communications that is a public relations specialist. So this is your path potential, and this could be an occupation that you want to look for or a title that you want to look for in order to go into that. Um, you might have some merchandising. So these are people who are looking for new products to sell. Um, you might have sales professionals, and what that means could be just sales people um, and, and operations can be an option to telemarketers. So these are just areas for you to look into so that you have um, options as well as um, fields of study that you might want to go into so that you have a, a, a path um, to, to go into. So for this example, let's go into marketing management and look. let's look at what marketing managers do. So marketing managers, similar to the athletic trainers, they figure out, they plan, direct, coordinate, marketing policies and programs. Um, these are some of the job titles that could be related, related to marketing managers. You have an account supervisor, marketing director, product manager. And again, below is some of the tasks that you'll be doing. So this is something um, that you might be doing is compiling um, products or service offerings, um, some of the skills and software that you might want to learn more about so that by the time you get into the workforce, you're already familiar with some of these software. Salesforce is a big one um, that that a lot of marketing managers will, will need to know. Um, maybe some development platforms um, that you want to learn um, learn more of. Um, again, so go through some of the activities, abilities, and again, all the way to the bottom is education requirements. Some of these require four years, some do not, it depends. Um, so it's good to have that 
the, an idea of what that means. And of course, to the bottom is the wage and employment trend. So for marketing manager in 2019, pretty, pretty substantial <laughs> uh, annual salary. Um, um, and of course, this will fluctuate depending on years of experience, um, some of the background that you have in it and what you're doing. Um, some things I want to also keep in mind is that many of these jobs um, have yet to be created, right? New technology is constantly um, arriving. We are in the age of streaming. We are in the age of social media. Those types of companies didn't exist like a few years ago. Um, in the next few years, there'll be new companies in different industries. So it's good to stay flexible get your skills up to date so that when those new technologies come in, you're able to prepare yourself and be able to jump to a different industry and a different career huh, pretty quickly. All right, now that we know that we want to study marketing or we want to be an athletic trainer, our next step will be to figure out um, if we want to go to school for it and what type of education we need. So. The next tool, the second tool, is collegescorecard.ed.gov. Now, this is a tool that has been created by the U.S. Department of Education, and it basically allows you to search and compare colleges, fields of study, costs, admissions, and all of that, so that you have a sense of where can I study certain subjects, how much will it cost me, and will it be worth it for my money as well as the growth of what I want to do. So if you head to that link, um, I'll also share all of these links in description so you have access to them. And at the end, I'll also have uh, just a quick resource for you to, to have um, so you can readily access these links and these sites. Um, so college scorecard, uh, there's a few options. You can search for schools. So say you already know um, that you'll be going to a school nearby can search for that school, but what if we don't? What if we know that we want to study marketing, um, but we don't know what kind yet or even where? So what we'll do is do search fields of study. Here we will check marketing. Now, as we saw in our kind of career path analysis, there are multiple marketing options, right? So a good idea might be to look into all of these fields of study to see if that's the one that you want. Um, there's certainly areas we can combine them um, perhaps, or maybe some, if there's one that doesn't exist, figuring out if you can create one um, while you're in school. But let's look to see. So marketing can be for apparel, textile, marketing management, or business and personal and financial services, um, or management, marketing, and other services. So let's do this particular field of study. And we'll do is provide you a list of colleges that provide this particular degree in business management and marketing and similar related fields. Um, it's a good amount of them, 217 results, and that's a lot, right? So what I do is perhaps we'll drill it down a little bit, filter it. So I am currently in New Jersey, so I'm going just to search for New Jersey colleges. New Jersey in this list and it will update and it will provide me five results. Now, one of the things I also want to point out is that each college, just like each company, um, might label a major differently and a job title differently. So look around, um, one college might call it marketing, another might call it business marketing. So look around um, because many of them have similar kind of offerings uh, and you might find that there's a college that offers what you want um, at the cost that you want. So here, there's five that offer this particular degree. Um, they have it in an associate's degree. This one offers a certificate, um, another certificate. So these are options um, that you can kind of look into. So let's go into Thomas Edison, Edison State University and kind of figure out what that means. So this particular degree that they have is for an associate. And um, when you click on that, degree, it will load um, the information for the particular college. And a lot of this is kind of to help you figure out if this is the path you want and if the cost and the um, field of study is there for you. Okay. 
Okay. So these are the results for Thomas Edison State University for the particular field of study that we're looking for business management and marketing. And this is a smaller school that has around, around less than 10,000 undergraduate students. Um, but if you scroll through, it'll also provide you other information about the, the particular school. Um, fields of study is perhaps if you change your mind and want to study something else, look to see what else they have. Um, they also have degrees for business business administration, maybe social sciences or nursing. Um, some of the costs will also be shown here, depending on what you're looking to study, perhaps the potential debt you could um, have once you finish school. Um, and another breakdown of student body, salary, depending on the field of study, and of course, test scores and acceptance. So this is just the, your area, second area to kind of look into as you figure out um, if if going to school or getting a second degree or an, uh, more education is worth it. Um, there's also an option for you to search by school. So say for instance, you live close to a college and you wanna go there and you wanna try to figure out what they have, um, let's do that. So again, um, because I live in New Jersey and I went to school at Rutgers, let's pull up Rutgers University. And this is basically, again, the same information about the school, um, what it has. So Rutgers is a pretty large university. It has around 35,000 students, undergraduate students, um, graduation rate, and some of the, the average annual cost for it. But it has a lot of things you can study. So from science, communication, engineering, those options are there. And as you kind of expand all of these other options, you can look to see what does it mean? How much will this cost me to go to school? What if my family makes this much? How much will it cost me? All this information. Um, so you have an idea of if, again, one, we want to make sure that the ROI for going to school or even what we want to study is there, that we are getting that return back for what we're studying and that we are kind of going through a career path that, again, grows with us and the salary grows with us. Um, especially since we want financial independence and financial security for the future. Um, there's also, if you are in, in high school and want to see like, what, what does it mean to, what, what do I need in order to be accepted to this particular university? SATs, ACT scores, um, what's their acceptance rate? I will kind of caveat that I'm recording this kind of in, in January, 2021, and a lot of colleges have removed their SAT and ACT requirements. So this might be good, um, especially if either you haven't taken it or have had the low score and have don't, don't have time to retake it. So reconsider reapplying um, and adding some additional maybe classes to, to your resume so that um, you have a higher chance of getting accepted into the college. Right, the third tool um, that we will look at is apprenticeship.gov, and it is an official website of the U.S. government. It basically provides you an area to search for apprenticeships, and if you go to apprenticeship.gov, head to the career seeker option and get started from there. And an apprenticeship provides you the ability to be in the workforce, um, learn while you're on the job and get paid at the same time. There'll also be opportunities to earn certificates um, that you can carry from job to job within your industry so that you're fully prepared to take on the roles within um, that, that particular area of, of study as well as area of, of occupation that you're looking to get into. Now, this, this is, um, again, with the U.S. government because the government wants to make sure that there's opportunities for many people. Um, this an apprenticeship can be a good option if you are looking for a career um, and a job that doesn't require a college degree or may not require a lot of schooling. And this also allows you to kind of get into the workforce that much faster without incurring a lot of student loan debt. Now, if you head to apprenticeship.gov, career seekers, look, click on find an apprenticeship and you can search for options here. There's programs you can search for. What I want to do is search for an auto um, apprenticeship um, in New York, New York. So I'll go ahead and click on search. And here's some of the areas, um, some of the programs as well as occupations that will come up for us. Um, some of these are in auto mechanics, um, perhaps for other manufacturing companies um, and, and systems. So what 
will allow you to do is click on a particular partnership. So you can take a look at what that means. Um, let's go look at, look, look at this one. This is actually for a um, auto mechanic in New York, and it provides you what they do. There are a repair shop in Greenpoint, and it required some of their qualifications for you, what you need to do, um, some of the responsibilities that you'll be able to you're doing while on the job and the pay and so the pay starts at a thousand a week and can increase depending on experience and if this is something that you're looking to do if you love cars and want to um, kind of pursue this type of careers um, an apprenticeship can be good because you'll be working alongside experienced people to one add on to your resume um, but to get you some work experience um, and get paid at the same time there's other areas for you to also look into um, I searched for auto, but something came up for a pharmacy tech, um, farm tech apprenticeship. So this could be an option too, if you're looking to go into that type of field. And a lot of the companies work with the US government to make sure that they are they have the, the manpower to, to be in these jobs um, and they have the skills necessary to, um, to work these jobs. So this is another option for you to look at um, as you uh, search for the type of jobs or if you're looking to do a career switches. All right, so here are the three tools that we we'll looked at today. The first one is onetonline.org, which allows you to search and analyze uh, career and occupation opportunities and kind of look at branches of careers as well as the job titles, the requirements, education, wage and salary trends. So you have a sense of if you have a particular skill or interest and you want to pursue that, what type of jobs or things um, can you study to pursue that? The second is collegescorecard.ed.gov and it basically provides you a database to search through colleges um, to figure out where can you study what um, for your costs, um, attendance information, um, so you have a sense of some of the college information um, before you apply, um, and also to make sure and double check that the major you're looking for, the things you want to study are available within the college. And the last option is apprenticeship.gov, and this provides you an option to Look for apprentice, apprenticeships um, within like your local community that you can not only get to work, but also get paid and get certified so you can continue to grow your career within those fields. Um, these tools are free, they're available, and they're constantly being updated. Um, so check them out, review them, figure out, um, really figure out what type of things you want to study for and look to the future um, because a lot of the jobs five years, 10 years from now have not been created yet. So make sure that your skills can be transferred from one area to the other, because that will provide you kind of stepping stones um, as you search out new opportunities um, and kind of grow your personal skill set um, and kind of get you towards financial independence. So thank you for tuning in. Um, like and subscribe to our clan officers for FI, um, where we will help you manage your money better so you can live a life of impact today and tomorrow. Thank you. And tomorrow. Thank you.